Soaking rain showers are on the way tonight and tomorrow could see a half inch plus for rainfall, mainly through the early morning hours of Thursday that could affect that morning drive and that there may be plenty of puddles in the roads could be a little hard to see with those heavier showers working through. Uh, so be aware of that as you start to plan out your day flooding, though, not likely with all of this rain moving on in. Here's satellite and radar and general lighter rain showers with some pockets of more moderate to heavy rainfall coming towards us out of Iowa and Missouri along this uh, area of low pressure tonight and we'll have that advance into the area within the next couple hours. As we look at satellite and radar more locally, there were a couple of flashes of lightning on radar. You can still see them popping up across eastern Iowa. Not really anticipating much for thunderstorm activity, uh, but we can't completely rule out a rumble of thunder or two as this line of showers works its way closer towards the state line. Uh, Freeport about to get at least some light rainfall within the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes. And we'll continue to see the rain move on in throughout the rest of the overnight hours. Here we are midnight with some light showers about two to three in the morning is when we'll have the bulk of the rainfall move on through more moderate to pockets of heavier rainfall expected during that time. We get to about five in the morning and that's when the weather's starting to dry up a little. You can see the heavier showers working out. We'll have lighter drizzly showers then after that on and off throughout the bulk of the morning 730 looking at drizzly conditions. We get to about 10 still looking at some drizzly rainfall and noon may be the last of the round of rainfall and then we see dry conditions throughout the remainder of Thursday and the remainder of the week. About a half an inch of rain coming. Some areas could approach three quarters of an inch. In most locations staying under an inch for rainfall overall. But again, uh, this amount of rain plus all of that melting snow, uh, it's not all going to completely soak into the ground. And that's why we could see some puddles in the roads going into tomorrow. Now with this comes some windy weather. Right now winds are out of the southeast to south between 15 and 20 miles per hour. We'll continue to have the breeze easy conditions overnight with winds picking up even a little further by about 430 in the morning. Then comes some strong winds at times throughout the day. You can see winds will be uh, around 20 to 25 miles per hour by the middle of tomorrow morning. Starting to see a shift in the wind direction mainly out of the northwest going into the afternoon and we'll continue to have those stronger winds throughout the evening. The weather finally starts to calm down on a Thursday evening and Thursday night. We'll have quiet conditions by the time we get to Friday itself. Uh, so be ready for some breezy to windy conditions ahead with all of this. We'll stay well above freezing. So no worries about any kind of iciness with this rain shower activity as the winds start to pick on up. Then plan on a wet morning before things start to dry out into the afternoon uh, as we have the rain showers start to exit. 52 for a high tomorrow. So another day in a row in the 50s as the weather dries up. Still looking at the windy conditions through Thursday itself and then uh, we dry up going into Thursday night. Looking ahead to Friday, a bit of a weather whiplash on the way. We're back down into the 30s, uh, so the temperatures drop a lot towards the end of the week. Then heads up for holiday travelers. Tuesday could see some rainfall and Wednesday may even have a rain snow mix. Now a part of winter weather of preparedness week. If you hear about winter weather advisories, that means difficult travel conditions on the way. Winter storm warnings are an upgrade from that. That's considered dangerous travel conditions. Be aware of some heavy snowfall with that and then blizzard warnings. Do not travel in those unless it's a life or death situation. Seven day forecast has temperatures dropping off into the weekend and then uh, we have that rain snow mix. So we'll have to keep an eye on for early next week. James and Kristen. Alex, thanks.